Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. We are on day two of our 25 days of Animal Crossing leading up to Christmas. We're back over on Hollimus today. I have the switch set to 6.55 in the morning. Hopefully we don't need anything from Nooks. But today we are working in this area. Let me bring up the map so you can see where I'm standing. We are right next to Miss Flurry's house. I went ahead and moved her, customized the outside of her house. We are probably going to do the inside on this video. But also, as you can see, there's two tents currently sitting on this island. I have not decided if getting those two up to where I can do their houses and stuff is going to be a video. Holomus has a ton of stuff to do compared to Snowflake. But who we have is we have Santa, of course, over on the Christmas side. His house is going to be his factory, you know, warehouse, toy factory, whatnot. And then we have Jack over on, over on the Halloween side. I was going to go for Jack Skellington, but you can't fit that many letters on any of the names here on Animal Crossing. But they have their outfits. Um, they are both still needing 5,000 miles to get to their houses, so they're still in their tents. But that is for another video. Today, what we are working on, as you can see, I already have it fenced off. We are going to be doing a little coffee, or not coffee, hot cocoa stand. Or cafe, I guess you could call it. We are, since we're right over by Nooks and the post office at that little park, you know, where people can sit and watch their kids play. I figured what better build to do here than a little, you know, hot cocoa, coffee, cafe, restaurant thing. <laughs> anyway, I am so sorry. I am fixing my headset. So if you hear anything, it is my Joy-Cons currently hitting the ear earpieces. But I did the fencing because I was not sure if I was going to fill all this in with the sidewalk. And I think I am actually going to. I'm not going to put my helmet on, though, because I'm not going to need it. And we'll just do this. This will take a whole heck of a lot less time, I hope. But how is everybody's December going so far? It is actually still the first for me. I'm getting a jump start on this video just to make sure I'm a little bit ahead since my work schedule is, you know, normal for this time of year. It's all kinds of crazy. And I want to make sure that I am not going to miss any videos or if I get to a night where I have to close and I don't have, you know, I don't feel like recording a video, I have one ready to go just save myself the headache and also uh, that way i don't have to worry about trying to keep track of all this on a calendar <laughs> uh no do not wear that oh god or display it on a mannequin that would um that would be awkward So we are only two days in, but how is everybody doing on their Christmas shopping, gift wrapping, you know, all that? Um, I haven't started either. <laughs> I actually just bought ornaments to go on the one and only Christmas tree I have up so far. I am going to put up um, at least two more tomorrow. Hopefully I will have the time. The tree I currently have up, I put up with the lights on it to... Hopefully, you know, if I'm be like, well, if the cats are going to climb it, at least they can climb it right now. There's no ornaments on it and they can get hopefully all the climbing out. Well, they have yet to adventure into it, which I am very shocked about. There is a um, cat bed underneath of it. It's right next to our fireplace. Our, um, we have a uh, fireplace connected to our thermostat, so I think it's electric. So it's not real, thankfully. I mean, it's not going to set the tree on fire. So they tend to just lay under that. Which I guess in hindsight I'm kind of glad about because that tree is very, very old. Um, my parents, I don't know when exactly they've got it, but we have had it since before I was born. And I was born in 1990, so it is, it is an old one of those tree yeah, artificial trees that you build, you know, branch by branch. It's got a color on each branch for what order they go in on what part of the trunk. 
and you have to flip up, flip up, fluff up each branch individually. And we actually, the paper that originally came with the tree, we either lost it or it started falling apart. So when I, to five or six, I would say is when I did this, I drew a picture of the tree and wrote down in my, you know, crappy kindergarten first grader handwriting, what order the color goes in, the colors go in for the branches. So, you know, blue's on the bottom, then it's red, then it's yellow, whatever order it goes in. Somehow that piece of paper has not started to disintegrate because it is still in the tree tote, comes out every year. I have a picture of it on my main Instagram. I'll go ahead and post a picture once this video goes live with the um, Instagram post, which will be up sometime tomorrow. So that is our last piece of sidewalk. Like I said, we have Miss Flurry's house all set up and ready to go. She is not home right now. She actually was out walking around in the intro. Uh, we are going to go ahead and start grabbing our stuff. I'm actually going to move both of these over here. My mailbox is over on the, on the Halloween side of things right now, but I actually should not need it for this build. Um, all right, I'm gonna put something away because I still have something on my inventory. I thought I completely cleared it out, but I did not. Oh, it's a random storefront. Okay, go ahead and get stuff out. As you can see, I have already at least gotten a jump start with stuff. I did the, I got the tables, I got the chairs. Actually, I crafted and I crafted them. Um, I actually, nope, not the red. Get a couple of these. And then what else do I want? Grab one of those. Grab one of those. I need to hit up a treasure island for this island because Snowflake is basically set on decorations, but Hollowness is burning. That, that's, I think, all I need right... Why do I have... Oh yeah, white street lights because I went to a treasure island. Duh. That's all I need right now. I have a few snacks and a few drinks, books and stuff. I don't have much which is a bit of a bummer. I thought I had more. I do have stuff for inside. Uh, I got some mugs. I mean, they'll work. The plain scones and the afternoon tea set and that sort of stuff I can toss into the tables. Okay. In the meantime, let's start with, I'm actually going to put some, see them? Some backwards storefronts right here just for some a little bit more background up against the... Oh, that's what I... Simple panels. That's what I forgot. I would forget my head if it was not attached to my shoulders. So we'll get this shoved back and we'll go ahead and we will grab those. I only need four of them. Um... There we are. And I believe it was these four. At least I hope it's these four. Yeah, those are the short ones. I was almost practicing, like I've called it troubleshooting, um, this build a little bit earlier just to make sure that I knew what I wanted, you know, where roughly what I wanted to do, just so that way this doesn't take over an hour. It's probably still gonna take a while, but I nobody wants to sit here for an hour and listen to me jabber jaw and just talk all night to talk all night to the internet and to the cats who thankfully are being quiet right now. I told my husband I want to put the door back on my game room. And there we go. Actually, those look really cute. I like those. I want to put the um, door back on my game room. Just so that way, if the cats are deciding to beat the heck out of each other, uh, I'm gonna grab a stall. That's the only thing I forgot. 
the mic won't pick up their shenanigans as well. Now the door doesn't shut very tightly or very well. Do I even have a stall? Or do I have to craft one? Um, I may need to craft one. Yeah, I don't see one. Easy enough. Uh, just so that way, if, you know, the cats are beating each other up, or they're playing or something, or they're crashing into everything, um, everybody is not hearing them go absolutely psycho. Which they can do every once in a while. I mean, the little black one, Ridley, I have a gray tabby who is named Batty, and then we have a white and brown named Butters. And Butters very much acts like the- oh, it does say I have one in storage. Oh well, I'm already here. He very much acts like the oldest, you know. And Ridley very much acts like the youngest. So they are constantly, and usually it's Ridley sneaking up on Butters or just walking up to Butters, and you'll hear Butters growling, and then he'll start screaming, and it's, it's just a mess. No, I want the green. So I would like to block that out as much as I possibly can. Just so that way, you know, you guys don't have to hear that. Okay, we have the stall. Place that there. And right here is going to be our big festive tree. There we go, that looks nice. I'm not entirely sure what I'm putting on the stall yet. Let me see if I actually have anything. Um. I don't want to use up all the few dessert items that I have right now. Let's see. These kinds of little details are probably going to have to be stuff that I go back and... Uh, we can do an ornament. Let's a lamp and a holiday candle. Why not? Nothing big. Nothing major. Just a little something something. I guess we could put like stuff like that onto some of the tables. We don't have to worry about a ton of food. Uh, we'll place that. Place our holiday candle. All right, very cute. Now let's get our table and chair situation figured out here. I think this will be a good. I mean, it's right by the river mouth, but I think it'll be a nice. Nice spot, almost right next to the beach. You've got an ocean view while you drink your coffee or eat your, you know, read your newspaper, eat your snack, whatever you want to do. So we'll do one there. And then I think I want to do one here. Also with a beach view, um, the museum is still currently sitting there. I have to figure out where the heck that's gonna go. I might use it in the um, Santa Claus toy factory build. I haven't quite decided on that one yet. And then we'll put one here. Not like that, like this. Kind of keep the center part here where you can walk. Don't want to be running into chairs and tables when you're trying to walk through places. Uh, that is that is no fun. Speaking from experience, it can lead to bruising, <laughs> very bad bruising. I'll do that at work sometimes. I'll run into tables that have been there since I started working there seven years. Uh, yeah, well, this is my seventh Christmas. I've been there six years, and I will come home and I just will have a massive black and blue bruise like right on my hip from when I ran into this table. It's like, girl, you have worked here for how long now? How are you still running into stuff? So what's next? I think I want to do a couple more decoration pieces and then we will grab the 
stuff are on the table. So I'm going to take an archway, plain party lights. I'm going to grab an ornament tree. And I don't think I need, I don't think I want anything else just because stuff being so ginormous. So we're going to put the ornament tree actually right here, just in front of the sign for Flurry's house. There we go. That looks cute. And the arch is going to go perfect. Just right in there. Oh, I like that. Okay, I really wish we could do rubs or something down on the floor. That would be really nice. Um, I don't have a menu code or anything for some scattered papers, which I think would be a nice little touch. That might be something to go and get off camera and do for the island tour on the, hopefully on the 25th. Um, <laughs> we're going to have to hope and pray for that one. All right, let's see. So. Take our plain scones for one. A couple of mugs. Afternoon tea set. Book. Um, this stack of books. Kind of looking like books. And one the actually take a couple of these again and see if we want them on the tables now. The only downside with these ironwood tables is they are not very big. Right, we'll put the scones there. No, the mugs are too small. We'll do a book. This one, put the table lamp, and this one will get the recycled paper bundle, which looks like a set of books, which I'm going to turn that way. And I think in between these tables, oh, I've got this all kinds of screwed up here because of the spacing, oh, that's going to be annoying. Oh well, we'll just put something there. And I guess I can do like an ornament garland or something between the others. So we are going to grab da, 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 a festive tree and then an ornament garland. Which I may have actually I might have already had one because I don't think I didn't use the last one. Hi, Flurry. You can kind of see her down there. I think she's fishing. Yeah, I didn't use it. So we'll put that there. And the smaller festive. Oh no, she's not fishing. She's just. Is she sitting? Girl, are you. Are you supervising me? Is that what we're doing here? smaller tree will go there. And for the outside, I think that is good. Although, I think I want one of those short, simple panels that I grabbed. And we're going to customize it to have a cocoa slash, you know, Christmas get Christmas coffee menu that I found. And then we will head over to resident services and get the inside of her house customized. And then we'll see if Rolf is home and I will be able to show you guys actually what the inside of his house looks like since I was did, just didn't think to do that when I was customizing the inside of his house since that was kind of a trial run to do off camera. And we will put this right here. I think that's cute. And actually, one other thing I forgot. I am all about forgetting stuff. I would absolutely 100% forget my head if it wasn't attached to my shoulders. I am amazed I don't forget my phone more often than not. 
Let's see, plain wooden shop sign. I should have one. Keyword, should. Oh, brother. So if somebody could like reach through and, you know, smack me, that'd be great. Um, you know, try and get my brain working. Because my brain does not want to brain today. <sighs> Since I have them in storage and guys, I don't see them. I'm sure somebody is screaming at the screen that they have seen them like twice already. Um, street light. Stuff I grab so that way it would be in my catalog for the inside of Flurry's house. Yeah, I don't see them. All right, well, we will just. I should actually have enough wood to make one, so we'll just go ahead and do this quick. Yes, let's craft, please. Oh, I don't have any in storage. Oh. Is that Snowflake where I have two of them? Probably. I don't know what's happening anymore. Alright, we're gonna customize this. Ouch, just hit my leg. Kinda sitting probably in not the most wonderful position for my <laughs> back on this chair. Um, I do like the darker wood. So I just hit my leg right up against the desk, which means I'm probably going to have a bruise. Because apparently now I bruise like a peach, which is new. This will just go right there. I think that's cute. Alright, let's pick these up. Just so they're out of the way. And this, oh here comes Flurry. Yes, I think this is this is wonderful for the outside. Not too overdone, not too cluttered, but cluttered enough that I like it. And of course, there's lots of green, which is, you know, the best color. Hey, Flurry, we're going to go do the inside of your house now. Okay, bye. And I think I'm going to need to get 9,000 bells out of the ABD. All right, got my miles. Whoops, no, not 90,000. Nope, we're good. Don't need to order any more items right now. I'm gonna have to do, I'm gonna have to do this for both islands. I'm gonna have to go on a treasure hunt, um, island and ordering spree probably tonight. Let's talk homes. Uh, not my own home right now. I have some ideas for my own home, but obviously I'm still sitting on the beach right now. I have to figure out where I'm going to place me. Yep, 9,000 bells. That's what I thought. Yes, let's brainstorm. Let's what? Let's brainstorm some ideas. This is going wonderfully, isn't it? Flurry. Yes, give her a call, please, Mr. Nook. I'd appreciate it. That covers it. What do you think? Are you okay in trusting Chris with your home? She's already done this once because I did the outside before recording the video because that's like, uh, that took me two seconds. This is going to take a little bit longer because I don't know if I actually have the wallpaper and stuff that I actually want to use, which is the only downside because I'd love to have the one that with the snow, but I don't know if I've ever picked it up. So anyway, let's do the interior. I don't think I've been inside her home ever on Holomus. She just moved on to Snowflake. Oh, that's right. She was one of the first ones I found, so she's still on the starter. Um, normal? Is she a normal? Anyway. All right. We are going to get rid of everything. Start completely fresh. Hopefully, Miss Girl, Miss Flurry, does not mind. We will start the walls. Let's see what we got. 
Do I have the one with the snow? Um, well, I have the ice. Ski slope. Yes, falling snow. Hot dog. All right. The floor. That'll work. All right, housewares. I need... I'm only going to do a couple of tables in here, but where we are going to start is actually going to be, once I can find them, is the, let's see, the counter tables. I probably passed them. Because I need something for the back. There they are. Lot four. Start with that. Oops. And then these will be our back counters. Oh, I guess I only needed three. Well, I'll probably use that fourth one somewhere. No, we'll get rid of it for now. All right. Let's change these to. Um. Do I want the brick? Yeah, the brick looks best. Okay, and then I need my espresso machine, that one, the coffee grinder, can I change your color? I can. I'm going to do red, can I change your color? Red again, that'll work. Pop that up here. Do you have customization? So you do not, you're going to go over here. Okay. And then the next thing is going to be need the counter tables again, but only two of them this time. And they are going to sit like this. Also in the brick. Whoops. There we go. Do I don't want to turn the... No, I don't want to turn those around. Okay, and those are going to have... Let's see. Drinks, drinks, drinks. There they are. I don't have very many, which is the only downside. But that's okay. Iced coffee. And, um, okay, definitely need that. I actually could do the firewood. I might take out that center counter table and put in the fireplace. As long as, as long as it's going to let me use it, let's go alphabetical. And that's the customization I want already. All right, so no, you're out of here. Okay, um, back up against the wall, please. And then extra firewood goes there. And let's see, ornament table lamp. Or do I want, do I have the, yes, I do, snow globe. Okay, put up our, our drinks. And the cash register is actually just going to go right there. And I need the rope. Partition. Let's see, there you are. And leave it in the red and gold, and that's just to block that off. So now we need some chairs. And those I can go back to. I'm sorting by type because those are right at the beginning. So, which chairs do we want? I 
have stools. Yeah, I don't have a ton of options. I think we will just go with... Huh. Well, guys, I'm not entirely sure. Um, I guess we can do counter chairs. I think I can change these to a darker customization. That would be really nice. Yes, dark. There we go. Put that one there. What am I doing? Okay. That one there. And because this one's over by the cash register, we're only going to do one. And then I want just one, just one table. Um, I think we'll do the natural square table in here. Uh, make it oak because that's a little bit darker. Actually, no, we're going to do a second one because I can fit another one in the other corner. And have them each facing different directions. I need chairs. Chair, 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 chair. What chair do I want to use for these? School chair, simple chair. We'll do the ranch chairs. And can I make these a darker color? Aha! And put that chair there. Chair there. And then we need just a couple of more items. We don't need much, at least for on the tabletops. Now we're still going to do the walls yet. So what can I put? Because I got that one open space in the back. Um, mom, 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 mom. This is mainly a drink. drink space. So I think we'll do the mug. Customize it to be... I'm actually going to do this one in green because I have a lot of red in here already. And put it back here next to the espresso machine. And do I have... Yeah, I definitely have desserts. We'll do an apple pie. That is not where I wanted that to go. Plain cookies. Do I have the frosted cookies? I probably haven't crafted them yet, so I'm gonna that's gonna be a negative. Well, we can We'll do the pumpkin scones, why not? Actually no the apples work because I am indecisive. So that there, that there. All right, time for the walls, which the walls never really get much. I'm going to do the bottles over here. And we'll just leave them the way they are. I uh, don't need the pot rack. We definitely want a clock. Why did you go all the way down there? I really need a clock. It's going to look weird that it's hanging on the window, but I really... Can't be bothered to worry about it. We'll do it in black. Otherwise, it's gonna stick out too much. And then over here, we need the usual light switch. Also gonna be weird because it's on the window, but that's fine. And actually, we're also gonna give Miss Flurry a phone, which I need over on this wall. That works. And of course, we need stockings. Why did you go there? Hang them above the door. And a wreath, which is going to go right there. And I believe that is actually Miss Flurry's house finished. I actually really like how this came out. I think this came out really cute. All right, Tom, we're done. All done.
Nope, exterior is already done. We don't have to do it anymore. All right. That is a yet another house interior finished. All right, so everything will be ready by tomorrow. Next Holomus video, we'll go ahead and pop in provided Flurry's home, and I'll be able to let you guys see what that looks like. I'm not going to mess with time traveling or anything right now because nobody wants to see that. Because I am not doing any editing for these videos other than villager hunts because nobody wants to see Wilbur and Orville talk nine zillion times. But Rolf is home, but he is sleeping, so unfortunately we're not going to be able to check in with him. We will have to do that another time. But thank you guys for joining me today. Our little hot cocoa coffee stand restaurant build is complete. That is all from me for today. That's not your remotes. Why am I doing yoga? What? No. No, 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 no. Um. Stretch. No. Behold. No. There we go. Do the arm swing. Anyway, that's it from me for today, for day two. I will see you guys, I'm going to say tomorrow, even though it's going to be two days from now for me. Like I said, I've got a lot to do tomorrow, so I'm glad I got this done. I will see you guys on Sunday for day three of our 25 days of Animal Crossing. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we will see you guys next time. Have a good night, guys. Bye!